troops. It is award season. Mm -hmm. It's in full swing tonight. Hollywood celebrating the 18th annual Screen Actors Guild Awards. Oh, yes, and we had the speeches and the clothes yeah. and all the memorable mo moments. Then we're going to bring them to you. We're going to first start out with Sam Rubin, who was live at the Shrine Auditorium. Oh, Sam, what a night. And I know you were mentioning that there were some surprises. What surprised you? Well, I tell you what, there's a one big surprise. Uh, Viola Davis, no surprise. The winner right here as she uh, greets with uh, press members. We'll talk to her in a moment. But first, this was the evening's big shocker. Best actor look. Jean Dujardin. Oh, my God, 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 my God. I was a very bad student. I, I didn't listen in class. Uh, I was always dreaming. My teachers call me Jean de la Lune, John of the Moon. And I realize now that I never stopped dreaming. He never stopped dreaming. That dream came true. People thought George Clooney would very likely win that award. It went to Jean Desjardins, and now that sort of upends the Oscar race. Somebody who seems very likely to win an Oscar is literally just a few feet from me. We talked to Viola Davis before her big win on the red carpet outside. We love when you get up there and accept because you speak from the heart, I think, oh, like yes. nobody else. Oh, thank you, because uh, if anything happens tonight, I truly will have to speak from my heart because I haven't written anything down. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I'm reminded of the phrase at the Critics' Choice, and we talked about it, this notion. It, 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 people are quoting you all the time. Oh, yeah. uh, the day you were born and then the, re the day you find out why you were born. Yes. And you said that about acting, and I'm sure those remarks inspire so many others. Absolutely. That, you must get a lot of feedback with regard to that. I do get a lot of feedback, especially from actors, because it's such a profession about faith. People don't understand that 99% of this profession is unemployed at any given time. I mean, less than 1% make 50 grand a year or more. It is a business about deprivation, and you have to have so much faith, so much love for the was work. There, was there made. ever a time where you thought, and you've been beside her a long time. Yes. You know what? I've got all the faith in the world, but this is just not going to happen for me. Oh, yeah. Early on in my career, are you kidding me? You know, in the unemployment line, you know, no food, no train, subway money in New York. Yeah. Being broke in New York is no joke. That's hard <laughs> living. So fun. It is. It, it's like I've, I've been through it all. But you know what? It's all good. It's all made me appreciate all this so much more. Uh all this and so much more and speaking of so much more viola of course wins for best actress in the help and then the grand award the best ensemble cast and how did that turn out here we go and the actor goes to the cast of the help and they say that the ensemble is just a group effort just um, brought together to create a singular effect. And all these actors on the stage gave up their ego and were able to just work. And it's been such a joy to just, just be a part of this cast. A joy to be part of that group, no question about that. Television was also honored here tonight. A big win, he's almost going to be like an octopus. He's gonna need eight arms, because he just won his sixth actor at the SAGs. Look at this for Alec Baldwin. And the actor goes to Alec Baldwin. And here just a short time ago, we caught up with Alec Baldwin as he was heading backstage. Alec Baldwin celebrates his... Do you, do you, do you, do you, how are you? I miss you. I'm never here anymore. I'm re I really do. I used to enjoy talking to you all the time. Well, and I'm never here. Why, why don't you come New back? York. You come you, here. You're on Fox? Uh, not Fox. It's the, uh, whatever he says. The CW. CW. Come, come to New York. They have right. CW in New York, don't they? I'm trying they? to sit next to Kelly. Do you think that would work for me? Kelly. On the Regis and Kelly thing? Or you want to be the co-host sure. with Kelly? Pfft, over my dead body. <laughs> Well, that, that may not work out for me, nor necessarily for him. Uh, there is uh, Viola Davis holding. Viola, I'm going to shout out to see if I can bring her back. Oh, come on, join us live for one quick second. Hang on. You are the belle of the ball. You're live with us now. You are the belle of the ball. Come here. Congratulations Thank to you. Thank you. And we've talked about how inspiring it has been for you and the people that you mentioned in your home state, in your hometown. Central Falls, yes, absolutely. And you said that town became famous. Why? Well, it was, it's bankrupt. You know, the library had closed, the community center, and 
And uh, my friend Angelo Garcia started a charter school there, Segway Institute for Learning, for kids not at risk, but at promise, he says. And you know what? Here's the thing. The best thing that comes from our profession is that we can throw a rope, a rope of hope, a rope of inspiration because what people don't understand is sometimes in order to dream you have to be able to see it to have an image of something to aspire to so I had I felt like I have to had to mention them and so many people watching right now see that with you is that the blessing or the burden it's both but that's what life is, you know. A life is a blessing and a burden. That's the whole journey of life and the magnificence of life. And to live a life that's worth it, you have to embrace both, I believe, and not shrink from it. Well, I tell you what, enjoy tonight. Congratulations to you. And you guys cannot appreciate how heavy this thing is. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> it literally weighs like 25 pounds. It, it really does, but you know what? I love it. <laughs> good for you. Thank you. Thanks, Viola. Thanks so much. There you go. Uh, pretty good night uh, for Viola Davis and the help. And um, Rick, of course, you could carry it with two fingers, that uh, actor award. But uh, for the rest of them, they're going to be uh, keeping <laughs> those through the there. night. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was looking at Viola. She's got some good arms on her. So she's, no she's doubt got, she's getting a workout. She's got some guns, well, Rick. She does. Sam, thank you for that. We'll talk to you throughout <laughs> yeah, the rest of the she's evening. she's such a class act. What Congrats a terrific actress, though. That mm -hmm. whole movie, The Help, it's Beautiful. great to see it get an award. Yeah. Hey we guys, talking about Kelly Ripa in the morning, you would be great doing that in the morning on the Kelly Ripa show. Oh, don't, I can see that. Oh, that's so sweet. Don't tell that. Sam that. He'd kill me. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, Sam's I think he'll job. fight you for that chair. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yes, tonight Hollywood is celebrating its top performers at the 18th Annual Screen Actors Award. Yes, yeah, Sam Ruby has been following the action this award season. He's joining us live again from the Shrine of the uh, actors walk with the actor. Sam. Tell you what, uh, Rick and Mary Beth, good evening once again from the Shrine Auditorium. The Screen Actors Guild encompasses the acting work of performers in motion pictures and television. And in terms of TV, for a moment, this was a dominating night for one particular show look. And the actor goes to the cast of The Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> That's it, I got nothing. So this is such an honor to be standing in front of uh, all you wonderful actors, Screen Actors Guild, thank you so much on behalf of all of us. Thank you. Well, that was Steve Buscemi. He said he had nothing left because he spoke earlier when he won individually for best lead actor in a drama. And the actor goes to Steve Buscemi. Oh, God. Uh, to my fellow no no nominees, um, congratulations. Uh, the Screen Act is really an honor. Thank you so much to HBO for supporting us. Uh, Terry Winter, uh, I will thank you till my dying day. But please don't kill me. I don't want to die prematurely. Terrence Winter, who you made reference to, of course, was a writer and producer on The Sopranos, and it was that Soprano credential, I think, that was enabling him to get HBO to take a big gamble, a huge financial gamble, on Boardwalk Empire. It paid off tonight. A double win for Steve Buscemi, who was backstage with me just a short time ago with those two very heavy statues. You've got biceps now. How, how, how heavy or fun is it to lift two? It's fun to lift two, but I can't do it anymore tonight. <laughs> A fantastic night for you and a fantastic night for the show. It must be very gratifying. It is. It's. Uh, I'm so happy for the whole cast and all the kids that were out here, and you know, and especially for um, Dabney Coleman and um, Alexa pa pa Palladino and uh, Michael Pitt, who are not returning, and we will really miss them. Good for you. Congratulations to you. Thank you so Thanks so much, Steve. Thank you. You bet. Let's reference that entire cast. There's more than two dozen people who are featured a week in and week out on Boardwalk Empire. Among them, actress Gretchen Mole. Now, Gretchen, you might recall, sort of was a Hollywood ingenue. The film career really ran dry. This show has uh, resurrected her in an extraordinary way. 
I mean, the way I feel anyway is I love watching it every week because I love seeing what my fellow actors are doing. Um, the writers have written such rich, wonderful, unexpected characters, and I think actors respond to that. You know, I, I re even watching the various scenes go up on the screen tonight, and I thought, you really feel it when it's exciting. Uh, in terms of other television news, Modern Family winning the Best Ensemble for Comedy. A big night, too, for Betty White. We'll get to more TV winners, more movie winners as well. And, of course, the party taking place, oh, I don't know, about 200 feet from me, uh, which you can hear all the way in here. We'll go back to you guys in Hollywood. Oh, and speaking of parties, here's hey. uh, Jessica Holmes. She's at the party. <laughs> Hi, Sam. We're keeping your spot warm for you here at the People EIF party, which is right behind the Schron Auditorium. Right inside there, I kid you not, I saw Betty White getting down. If you're sitting at home thinking, man, I'm tired, I can't imagine going to a party at 10 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night. Betty White up in there having a great time. The carpet is jam-packed heading into the party. We've seen so many celebrities, including Oscar Nunez from The Office. Hello, darling. How are you? Hi. I don't mean to put a damper on it, but uh, Betty White just had uh, fractured her tibia. No! It's splintered, and it's horrible. We're airlifting her as we speak. I tell you But what. she's okay. No, she's the woman could outdance both no, of us. I'm kidding. Yeah, she could. She could. She's amazing. She could. So, tonight, you guys nominated for a SAG. The office. Yes. Those modern family people, I tell you what, is this a, is this a friendly rivalry? Well, clearly it proves that uh, SAG is fixed. <laughs> I think the mafia has a lot to do uh -huh. with this event. I wasn't sure uh, before, but now I am. So I hope some investigations. I don't know if, uh, if Viragosa, Go so the mayor. Go you're getting the mayor on it. I didn't even say his name okay. right. What's his name? Viragosa. Exactly. Yeah. If he's going to get involved, but some investigation should take place okay. because I don't understand what happened. We need to get to the bottom of this, yeah. clearly. But now they're, they're, they're one of my favorite shows. <laughs> you say that with. Dave. You say that with a smile. Speaking of which, this is a night where all of your acting buddies get together in one room, movies, TV. Are you? Who are you a fan of in particular tonight that you got to kind of rub elbows with? Oh, gosh, who did I see? I saw uh, uh, Janet, what's her? McTeer. Janet McTeer, uh, who was in, the, in Albert Knobs, yeah. which is a phenomenal movie. Glenn Close n kills it. It's a wonderful story. It's a wonderful movie. Uh, uh, I was a little disappointed that Nick Nolte didn't win because Warrior is a great right. movie, but Christopher Plummer is wonderful and amazing. So that, I, yeah, it was a toss-up between those two. And Dick Van Dyke. Oh, my gosh, the Dick, Dick Van Dyke, Van Dyke Van moment. Tyler Moore, ah. Carl Reiner's here. Yeah, it's very good. Did you go inside yet? Are you exiting or entering the party? I wasn't sure which way I, I got you. I have been valeting all night. Um, <laughs> Making a few I, extra bucks. Yeah, but it's really good. I hear people come out and they're telling me all about it, and that's how I feel in touch yeah. with what's happening. No, if we need to get someone on the inside, which could be you, Oscar, mm -hmm. we need investigative work on the inside to tell us exactly what's going on. Inside we, of here? Yeah. Okay. We, we are only allowed on the cusp. You want the scoop. We want the scoop. People just having fun. Uh, uh, Tilda Swinton yes. was here, very cool. A lot of a lot of English people. I don't know how I feel about that. And the French fellow won for best actor. Everybody saw George Clooney. John Dujardin. Exactly. He won, and he's amazing. He's a wonderful, charming man. But I just I, I thought George Clooney was going to win. And you've so seen was, the artist. That was a surprise. I've seen the artist. He's did a wonderful thing. And he's a very charming man. He's very good looking. He's he's wonderful. But we just don't know him. Uh, he he's their George Clooney. George right. Clooney is our George Clooney, right. and he and he lost, and so I lost ten thousand dollars. But that's no <laughs> one's business but mine. I love Doesn't that matter. you bet on the SAG Awards. What else? Love that's that. it. Just boxing and SAG Awards. That's all I bet on. <laughs> well, it was really nice talking to you tonight. I wish I could say the same, but you know what? It's about. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time. It's lovely. See, I'm, to see I'm a little tired, and I, it took me like a beat to get I'm, that. I, why yeah. should I beat you up? You're wonderful, and it's great to meet you. And you it, it is a great night. You too, Oscar. We enjoy. Enjoy your work. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Have thank fun. You. Uh, of course, we're seeing a lot of that tonight. It's a good time. And we're going to eventually get inside Mary, Beth, and Rick. We are not going to stop until we are in that party. Jess, and it's happening. I'm counting on you, baby. And by the way, you face. are looking good. <laughs> She's stunning tonight. Yeah. Jessica, you look great. Thank you. And for the record, well, I think Oscar may have had a few pops before he <laughs> dropped by to say hi to you. He was Oscar, awfully well. Oscar's yeah. a funny guy. <laughs> All yeah. right, Jess, we'll talk to you. We're going to see more of that. We'll all talk right, to you guys. throughout the evening. Uh, yeah, get Betty White after she, you know, is cut <laughs> yeah, the Yeah, broken leg and all. We'll take her. <laughs>